Hello there, my name is Chuck Sorowskis. Today I'll be demonstrating to you how to change the oil on your vehicle. Now, what you're going to need is your ratchet and your socket, depending on the size bolt you have on your oil pan underneath the car, you're going to have to decide what size socket you're going to need for that bolt. Now, you're also going to need oil filter. After you change the old one, you're going to need one that fits your size. There's multiple different kinds of oil filters. Just check with your local auto body uh, shop. I got this one from United Auto. Uh, they will help you out as much as they can. You're also going to need a funnel to refill the oil. And depending on your vehicle, most vehicles run on basic, uh, basic oil that you can get anywhere really. But uh, I chose today a synthetic 5W30, uh, which is just a little bit better than basic oil. Now what you're also going to need is this, which is your oil collector. You're going to need this. All right, and also you're going to have to lift your vehicle a little bit. You're going to have to put it on chucks. All right, or else, and here, come back here. You're going to have to put chucks on the back tires, or else you might end up with chuck underneath the tires. So, let's get under the car, shall we? And we'll begin. Oil pan. Here's the bolt that holds in the oil in the oil pan. Up here is your oil filter. Now do not mistake your oil pan for your transmission pan, which is right there. This is your transmission. Okay, this is your oil pan. This is your transmission. Oil pan, transmission, transmission, oil pan. Remember that. Now to get the oil out, we're going to have to loosen this bolt and let it drain. Now to do that, you got to put your oil collector right under the hole. Make sure you're angled out because this will come out mm, a little bit off track here because it is at an angle. Now make sure your hole in your oil collector is open. Now, I do believe this is finger loose. Yeah. And we're going to let this oil in a second here. Long bolt, sorry about that. You're going to let that oil flow. Now if you've been running it a while, it might be a little hot. You might burn your fingers, but right now it should be good. We let this cool down for a bit, and it's draining good. As you can see, that oil is pretty black. That's You got dirt, grime, all that junk in there. All that bad stuff, that, that's the reason why you want to change your oil, your, uh, oil from now and then. Make sure all that's gone. You don't want that in your engine. Now as that slowly starts to drain out more, we're going to move the oil collector as it starts to slowly stop dripping here. Alright. Looking pretty good so far. Now while we're at it, might as well get the oil filter up here. I have to reach up here and twist this left if I can get my grip on it. Ooh, that's getting close to my face. <laughs> Well, ah, that's hot. <laughs> it's not that cool. Ah, well, <laughs> we're going to have to come back. We're going to have to dry this off, but we'll be back in a little bit here. <laughs> All right, finally got it loosened. Here it should come. Oh, and we're going to drip a bit. Please don't tell me I got that on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> nope, we're good. All right, good. Now watch out. It's starting to pour out a little bit more. Let that drain a bit. Now you're gonna have to remember you don't you can't be scared to get dirty here. This is gonna get really messy. Alright, now be careful with the camera. I'm good. This might run down to my armpit. This is nice. <laughs> Alright, now. Now you gotta unthread this. It's pretty much like a nut on a bolt. Oh, there it is. <laughs> now we're gonna bring that down ever so slightly because this is still filled with oil. I'm gonna pour that out. And on your oil collector, there should be a little notch there to hold the oil filter, let it drain. Well, there you go. Now you just let the oil drain for as long as possible. Let all that gunk and sludge get out of there. And we will come back when we are done waiting for this oil to drain. Right. Now that the oil's done draining, we now replace the bolt back, the same bolt that we took off. We don't want to change that unless it's really bad. But now, what you're going to do? Wait at me. Now, we're going to replace the oil filter. Now, what you want to do, you got this gasket here. You're going to want to take some of your new oil 
you're going to want to rub some oil around that gasket so make sure you get a tight seal now when you put it back up there you want to make sure threads are aligned and you're screwing it in right just like so and there it is do you believe now you're gonna get want to get that nice and tight there we go so many turns as we go and now we gotta go back up top and fill it up with oil now that we're back up on the top of the car now if you look here you got your funnel already in where you put the oil in on top of your engine now what you're going to want to do is fill it, fill in uh, your next few new quarts of oil. And I already put three quarts in, so I will just, you want to put the first five in at least. And then you're going to want to check your dipstick to make sure you are filling up. No, there's no leaks anywhere. You might want to check your bolt underneath just to make sure also. Just as a precaution, just to make sure you tighten that all the way. And as I was saying before, there are multiple different types of oil. Uh, ranging from your basic oils to your synthetics um, right here like I said I have a synthetic oil which the only difference between the synthetics and the basics is you have anti different antioxidants and different detergents to keep your engine running smoothly and keeping it clean uh, detergents make sure the dust and uh, dirt particles stay off your engine components and your detergents make sure they are pushed out and always pushed in the oil pan and oil filter they get stuck in there now we'll go over here and check your dipstick see how that's going over here take that out now you might want a rag or something just to clean off this dipstick if you're wearing some nice clothing or something but i'll just use my shirt because this is a junky shirt now if you look we're right about at the second mark which is really good you know that's filled thing is here you got to start the vehicle and run it through the filter now what you're going to want to do take out your funnel put the cap back on shine the cap where's the cap right here that's your washer fluid there babe no i'm <laughs> sure. here, hold this hold this <laughs> all right now you're going to want to tighten that make sure it's back on now you're going to want to start your vehicle Shut it off. Once your vehicle is started and it's been running for a few seconds, uh, you got to make sure you just give it a couple, about 15 seconds to run. Make sure all that oil is circulating through the oil filter, and then we'll check the dipstick once again. Make sure the oil is filled properly, and we'll have to add the last quart. So I'll meet you back at the front of the truck. As I said before, we'll have to be checking our dipstick once again after running the vehicle. Alright, check it. As you can see, we're about a quart low. Would you look at that? I'll put that back in. And now we'll just add the last quart of oil as needed to fill the rest of the oil up. Place the funnel. Open the cap. Refill. Now I'm just gonna put a half a quart in right now. Oh, there. Recheck the dipstick. Let's look at there. We're about right under the hole. The last mark there. So, we're going to just add a little bit more oil, and that will do it. There we go. Well, as I said before, my name is Chuck Sorowskis, and I just showed you how to change your oil on your vehicle.